It's always hard to say what especially makes people love a sculpture. Artists in the collection now, they would love for their sculpture to be the next Will Rogers. Will Rogers came to Lubbock. He met the Texas Tech president on the train out and so he actually donated $200 for the band to go perform at the TCU game so that the rest of Texas could hear what a good band sounds like. And Eamon G. Carter was our, the first chair of the board of directors and he was good friends with Will Rogers. In the late 1940s, he commissioned a, a sculpture of Will Rogers and his horse Soap Suds and the uh, sculptor was Electra Wagner Biggs. She was 18 years old at the time, and she uh, was a descendant of a long-running Texas ranching family. And so she got this amazing opportunity to make the sculpture. Uh, the interesting thing is the one at Texas Tech was not the first one. Over the years, there's actually been four copies of that sculpture commissioned. So that, that's a bit of Texas Tech history that most people don't know. There's actually four of them. position of the horse was apparently somewhat controversial. The statue was actually um, supposed to ride into the sunset. The tail end of the horse faced downtown Lubbock. Well, the businessmen were not happy about the horse's posterior facing downtown Lubbock. From my understanding is that it was in a crate for two years while they tried to figure out how to position it. So they kind of shifted it about 23 degrees, but the horse's posterior now faces um, one of our favorite rivals. They re supposedly repositioned it so the tail faced College Station. It's an urban legend. <laughs> Will Rogers statue, which was dedicated in February of 1950, it's probably the most popular piece here. Everybody calls it Will Rogers, and it is of Will Rogers and his horse. Soap Suds statue is actually called Riding Into the Sunset by Electra Wagner Biggs. That is officially the first piece of public art on the Texas Tech campus. We've had several who would love to see their sculpture be the next one that's wrapped or is part of a tradition. Well, obviously, the saddle tramps, uh, every Thursday evening, they have what they call Midnight Raiders, but they wrap Will Rogers in red. There's an art to it. You don't just go out there and start, you know, wrapping streamers. Uh, the, the seniors usually lead the charge. There's an art to doing it and doing it the right way so the streamers won't come willy-nilly loose, you know. And, of course, one of the problems they have in the early fall, if it rains, they have to go back and take it all off again. But we all all go back out there and take it down if it rains and then put it back up again after it finishes. It's quite a job, quite a job. The longest running tradition with Will Rogers is the covering with crepe paper. So for home football games, they cover Will Rogers with red crepe paper. Um, and then for national tragedies, they cover the statue in black crepe paper. So it's not a static sculpture. I mean, every once in a while you go by and you'll see somebody on there in their cap and gown taking their pictures or they're putting their grandchildren on there. Electra Wagner Biggs actually came back years later when she was in her 60s or so and her family came and there's a picture of her granddaughter on the sculpture too. So even for her, it was sort of an interactive kind of sculpture. It's a picture spot, but it's a hallmark of when you come as a freshman and when you leave as a senior.